Well, today is an exciting day for me because it's going to be the first day that I've picked up a camera in over five months. And the reason for that is because five months ago I was electrocuted and I've had severe spinal compression ever since then, which is uh, getting better. It's not 100% yet, but I feel well enough perhaps to go and spend an afternoon taking some pictures. So today I'm going to Reekvlei Nature Reserve, which is one of my favorite local reserves near Pretoria in Johannesburg, or in South Africa rather. And uh, it's local to me, about 40 minutes drive. And the reason I'm excited is not just because uh, this will be the first day that I've picked up a camera in five months, but actually because the weather's building, these afternoon thunderclouds that we get in summertime in South Africa are building up and uh, becoming sort of pregnant with rain, which hopefully, hopefully will fall at some point. And if I can put an animal uh, at replay in some light from these afternoon thunderclouds with this dramatic uh, change between light and shadow, a dramatic weather, wind, rain, lightning, sometimes, just sometimes, you get a special shot. I've just arrived at Replay, it's about 10 to 3, and the promised build-up of clouds, thunder clouds, hasn't really happened yet. So I've just got a nice breezy, hot summer's day instead. And it doesn't look as if those clouds are going to materialize. I might be wrong, but I don't think they are. So the reserve is very quiet, as you'd expect on a hot summer's day. All the animals are undercover in the shade and, and hiding from the heat. So I'm just going to carry on driving around and uh, see if I can spot anything to photograph in the meantime. And then hopefully as the light uh, sinks and the sun sinks later in the day and we get that lovely orange uh, African sunset, we might find some game to photograph in that light instead of the thundery conditions that I'd hope for. Zebra here are enjoying the uh, fresh grass and this grass is fresh because there was a winter burn here and you can see the length of the grass is very short and uh, it's very green so uh, they're enjoying munching on it. It's always a good area to look out for when you're in a game reserve anywhere that's been burned recently and has a fresh growth of grass. There's no doubt that uh, persistence and patience generally pays off when you're trying to take pictures of wildlife. So I spotted this little egret uh, at around three, four o'clock, and I came back to the same location 
and uh, he's been busy hunting for freshwater crab and mollusks and insects and that kind of thing and I've sat with him for about 25 30 minutes as this sun's been lowering and the light's been getting softer and softer and uh, I think I've picked up a few nice shots of him so when you get a subject or a reasonably interesting subject doesn't have to be a, a lion or a, a leopard or something like that I mean if it is great but the important thing is to to find something to photograph when the light is good and then make the most of that subject and that is I hope what I've done with this little egret not the most rare bird in the world but quite a pretty one especially in this lovely soft slightly warm sunset light.